Today I'm going to show you guys how to extract the dye out of cochineal bugs, which is how carmine red, as well as other food colorings, red food colorings, are made. Here we see the infestation of cochineal. Let's begin. So really what I'm going to do is take a sifter and kind of brush my hands gently over the nopale fin. You can also use a spatula if you think it'll be faster for you. As you're doing it, you might also notice it's kind of gruesome, but that's only because it is. I mean, these are the bugs after all. This is not the blood you actually see. This is, um, it's a type of acid that, that I don't remember right now. But it's this I would say that's enough for this video. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm back home now. I transferred all the cochineals that I collected into this bag. And this is my process for getting it out. <laughs> really? All I do is just squeeze the bag. You can instantly see this bright, deep red color coming out. Carbonic acid. So keep doing this until you think you got every last one. Okay. So once you're ready, into this bag, put some water. Not too much. Okay. Now, put it in here. And now we just strain it. Try to get just the liquid out at first because we're gonna do this same process a couple times with new fresh water. Let's do one more run. You can see what we just collected. Okay, so for the last step, really all you have to do is dehydrate this liquid. And I'm doing this over carpet, which is not recommended, but that's all I got. I can see this dark, dark color. Let's check back on this later. Okay, so it's been about 20 hours at this point. You can see at one point, um, this is still hot. You can see at one point I kind of scratched it around, but this is what it should look like. Pretty dry. And let's go to the next step. Okay, so the next part of this process is just scraping the powder off the plate. As you can see here.
you might notice that there's a little bit of splashes and such. So sometimes I use a piece of paper, put it on top and kind of use that as a shield. <laughs> There you have it. Cochineal powder and cochineal bugs. Something that's cool about Crimson Red is that it is a word that I forget right now. Back where it's native from, Mexico is that they could dye textiles depending and change the color depending on the if it's an acid or a base. Just to demonstrate how potent this stuff is, this is the remaining that was on the plate. Now if you put some white vinegar, see how the color changes.